la gloria de Dios maneja mi vida con hilos de amor que puso en mi alma me llevas a él la gloria de Dios gigante y sagrada me cae a sus brazos alienta a mis pasos me llena de Hi guys and welcome. Good seeing you today. So I'm um, Teacher Rodrigo and this is Maxi Ha. Maxi Ha. Okay, and this is Emily. Emily. And, and we have a special guest. Bella. Who is this? Bella our our dog. dog. Bella. Bella. Oh, she look cool. Yes, this is our beautiful dog Bella. She's been with us maybe oh. four or five years now. Yeah, yeah, she's a beauty. So today, we're gonna talk about giving it your best or not, okay? You're gonna do your best, not because your mom and daddy tells you, not because your teacher's telling you, and yes, all these things are important. But the bottom line is, we have to do our best for that, okay? And I have a scripture. Woohoo! Colossians 3.23, okay? It says, whatever you do, Work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for man. The Lord, don't, don't, like the Lord. The man. <laughs> That's for God. Yes, yes. Dun, dun, so dun, we're dun. not doing it for men. We're doing it for God. Good job, you guys. All right, dun, dun, we're gonna see dun. a short video, and then we'll come back. Okay? We'll see you later. These are my favorite. <laughs> Mrs. Jones was a sixth grade teacher. She would assign different students the responsibility of taking care of the class pets, a turtle, an aquarium with a fish, and a hamster. Each student was given that responsibility for one week. When it was Billy's turn, he didn't like changing the water in the aquarium. By the end of the week, the water was dirty and the fish weren't very happy. Mrs. Jones had to change the water all by herself. When it was Freddy's turn, he didn't like cleaning up after the turtle. By the end of the week, the turtle box was a mess. The turtle wasn't very happy. Mrs. Jones had to clean the turtle box all by herself. When it was Sally's turn, she did an excellent job. Every day, she made sure that the hamster was fed and that the cage was cleaned. She was very careful feeding the fish the right amount of food and changing the water at the end of the week. She took care of the turtle and thoroughly cleaned its box. More than anything, Sally wanted to please God in all that she did. That's why she did such an excellent job. The animals were happy, and Mrs. Jones was especially happy. Well, one week, Mr. Taylor, who owned a pet store in town, came to the classroom, and he asked if any student would be interested in helping him at his pet store. Billy, Sally, and Freddy all put up their hands. Well, Mr. Taylor didn't know who to pick, so he asked Mrs. Jones who she thought would do the best job. Mrs. Jones didn't hesitate. She told Mr. Taylor, Sally 
would do an excellent job. All right, so we're back. Wasn't that cool? So, so what happened to Sally? She, she needed to clean the every tank by herself, and the rest of the people said they would help her, but they actually didn't because it looked gross. Okay, you know the the rest of the boys they didn't clean it. What else happened? Um, the boys did not like it, but then the the girl uh -huh. came and she she fed the hamsters and his. And his cage clean. Yeah. She yeah, made sure that was enough. That was enough food for the fish and clean his tank with the mule water. And the tur mm -hmm. and that girl cleaned the turtle's cage too. Yes. Yeah. So Mrs. Jones gave them some responsibilities and told them, you know what, you gonna, you guys are gonna take care of the turtle, the hamster, and the fish. For one week. For one week, yeah. But the boys didn't wanna do it. You know, Billy and, and the rest of the boys didn't wanna do it. Billy. They probably felt it was too hard. Yes. But guess what? Sally did it. All by her own in her heart. So are we supposed to do the best for teachers, for, for parents, for your friend? for your cousin, or are we supposed to do the best that we can for God? The best we, that we can can to God. Yeah, we have to do no the best that we can for Jesus. That's what the scripture God. said. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for man. Yeah. So for example, if you're doing your homework, Okay, I know sometimes it can be really, really hard to finish all your homework, especially every day. Every day can be a task, but we have to do our homework. Yes, sir. What? Because it's for God. For God, yes, sir. We yeah. Heart, heart, heart. What about listening to your parents? Or Bella. We don't listen to Bella. We don't listen to dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. Love one about stop. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Love one to be more fun. So, what's another example that maybe you have a hard time um, trying to do your best? My <gasps> scratching me. You know what? You do a good job making everybody's beds. Yes. <laughs> you do an awesome job doing that, and I feel like you're doing that for God. Even though we're telling you to clean up your room and make your bed, you go the well, extra mile and he does my bed, mommy's bed, her bed, and Emma's bed. For God, you my baby's heart, heart. bed. All right, guys. So thank you so much for sharing. Um, so yeah, you guys at home, I just want you guys to remember this. Sometimes it's really easy yeah. to take the easy way out. It's more rewarding when we go and do what is harder because there's more blessings that come with it. And at the same time, we're doing our best for God. Okay? Yes. We're doing our best for God. And that yes. that's what gives God a smile on his face. Yes. That's what the scripture <laughs> says. At the end of the day, or maybe half the day, all of the time. Yeah, yes. so all the time, give it your best. No shortcuts. Make sure you work at it with all your heart. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for being here. Emily, Matt, it was yes. great having you. Bella, thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.